hello, thank you very much for watching. Well, I'm still heading south on the beautiful River Thames. This time of year is perfect for navigating this waterway because it's just like a mill pond. I had lots of people saying, oh, you've got to be careful, it's really fast flowing water. I think they're referring to when they travelled on it, possibly in, in the winter, when the river would be a lot fuller. But this time of year, late spring, early summer, absolutely beautiful. Um, I've moored up in the sort of non-urban areas. Um, I've been using uh, mooring pins. Um, no issues whatsoever, the, the ground is, is nice and firm. I have had some really stunningly hot days um, because Molly has no towpath to run along because the, the river winds back and forth. Um, we're out for a quick walk at the moment. But likewise, you can just relax in the evening and you've got these beautiful sunsets and really nice sunrises. And it's a really nice experience, to be fair. Um, I'm going through and past Oxford in probably today, maybe the next day. And I'm expecting lots of rowers um, between Oxford and Reading. I, I fully expect it's further on as well, but um, the, the rowers all in training, universities are all using the Thames as well. It's a huge river, plenty of room for all of us. Um, I've had no issues with any of the locks. Um, a lot of them are automated, so you just get off and press a button. Um, and the, the locks right at the very top are with big wheels. It's almost like turning a ship to open the ground paddles. I suppose that's because of the, the pressure of water or it's just simply the style of how that lock is, is done. But very impressed with all the facilities. Um, everything's very clean. It's run by the Environment Agency. Um, and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Carrying on east down the River Thames, we pass Farmore Reservoir. This supplies the Wiltshire town of Swindon and has a capacity of nearly 14 million litres. Heading in a wide curve past Duke's Cut, where I originally entered the river, my journey takes me south down through the city of Oxford. I didn't want to moor in the city or its suburbs, so carried on south to the east of Abingdon, where I stayed for the night next to a large meadow. You can moor really close to the reservoir and it's a nice place to take a walk. However, dogs are completely banned from the reservoir grounds. Just as you come towards Godstow Lock are the ruins of Godstow Abbey, also known as Godstow Nunnery. Built in the 12th century, Henry II's mistress, Rosamond Clifford, was buried here in 1176, but the exact location of her grave is now unknown.
most of the locks from here on are hydraulic. At Osney Lock, the resident lock keeper was here to help. If they weren't, however, there are guides on each control should you need to navigate outside the lock keeper's hours. Sit, sit. Surrounded on two sides by the River Thames is the small village of Cullum. This village, however, is going through some major changes, and the locals are campaigning against it. The council are planning to build a small town right next to the village, and supersizing it from 170 homes to 3,500. When complete, it'll have a population of around 10,000, and not only threatens this beautiful countryside, but also Cullum Park motocross track. It's a fully graded track and has been here for 35 years, with each meet drawing nearly 400 motorcycle riders and between 3 to 5,000 spectators. This two kilometre track is at risk of closure and the locals would prefer this busy motocross track than 3,500 new homes. I moored up just west of the track for the night before continuing south down the river. Until next time, see you later.